Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And this week, are going to be doing more of our leaf green Nuzlocke. Uh, hi, Jane. Hi, Koneko. Hi, Landon. Welcome in. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. So, I have green nails, right? I don't have green cat ears, unfortunately, for St. Patrick's Day. Um, but I did get some new liquid eyeliners and a bunch of fun colors. So we've got some green, we've got some green wings here. We've got green lights in the background. I feel like I'm good on the green. I had my corned beef and cabbage for dinner tonight. We are all here. We are all here for St. Patty's Day. I hope you guys are too. You know, I understand that in Ireland, they don't really celebrate St. Patty's Day. It's really like an American thing. So um, so that's fun. If there's anybody, any Europeans that know more about that, I would love to hear it. But I heard that at one point, <laughs> that that's a thing in regards to St. Patty's Day. As you guys can see, Lady always knows where to be in the frame, gracing us with her adorable presence. She has been very annoying today, so exactly on point for Lady. It's been great. <laughs> Uh, this is the only green one I have and it's cursed. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I was about to say, what is happening in that emote? But I looked closer. Now I see what's happening in that emote. <laughs> it is a little bit cursed. All right, you guys. Um, as you all know, we like to start with a personality quiz, a you quiz. Uh, we're going to do a fun one today. We're going to do one called I'll figure out your sexuality, just wait. So the title of this intrigued me and I just I just had to, I just had to see what kind of shenanigans this quiz could be getting up to. Hang on, lady wants out. Oh, you don't wanna pose no more? You don't wanna pose? Okay, go on. I give her 10 minutes before she's meowing to get right back in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I eschew labels. So I really don't know if it's going to uh, figure me out because I don't, I'm not sure like exactly how I would even hundred percent label me. Like if you're going to force me, I'd say straight, but that's like not, that's not really the whole story. You know what I mean? Okay. Gender. I assume this is asking for my gender. Uh, we've got male, female, neither, both. Why would I tell you? Um, I guess the closest answer here is female, but again, like, I mean, how do you answer this in just one word? Okay, female. Question two is already making me think it can't figure me out. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> we'll see, right? We'll see. Uh, who would you date? Primarily men. So primarily men, but um, it's more about masculinity for me than men uh do you like people of the same gender as you that's hard to say i feel like maybe this quiz was not a good one to take i just got so curious and uh and it's it seems like it is going to be a little bit more straightforward than i was hoping for but maybe by the end it will surprise me uh i would say both yes and no for this uh who is hot what? Okay. Now let's get into the Yuka's craziness that I was hoping for. Okay. Winnie the Pooh, Donald Duck, my sibling. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I guess out of these choices, I have to say Winnie the Pooh. I, I mean, these are, this is not the list I would make, but um, there we go. Do you like yourself? Uh, I'm not typing out that. Dog or cat? Cat, definitely, even though my kitty cat abandoned me. My dog's about to abandon me too. You going too, Riri? You going too? Okay, I'll let you out too. Okay, it's okay. Go on. Oh, you can go. No problem. Okay, whatever. It says I'm gay, yeah, not accurate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, let's see what it says. Your result is depressed, oh my god. Okay, so here's the options. Pan, gay, straight, problematic, or depressed. Yeah, no ace answers, there's no, there's no ace-friendly answers. I wish I would have got problematic. It says, has self-explanatory. If anybody gets problematic, tell me what it says underneath um, for the description. What does gay say underneath for the description, Koneko? 
What does it say? <laughs> Has self-explanatory. Okay, well, <laughs> sure. It said nothing. Oh, whatever. I guess they can't all be winners. I thought this quiz would be funny. It was kind of boring. Oops. Oops. All right. Let's get into our Nuzlocke, shall we? Let me make all the things go. Where are my badges? Mm -mm -mm. There they are. Okay. They were loaded. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Here we go. And I need to make the game show up. There we go. Let's unpause it so you guys can hear it. All right, it looks like it's a little bit loud. Let me, let me just move that down a tiny bit. Y'all tell me if I made it too quiet or if it, the balance is off now. Um, the music is very intense in this area, so. <laughs> so there we have it. Let me just make sure bef before we go to the next area if the dog doesn't walk right back in. You just crazy. Okay. No, 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 no. We talked about this before the stream. She's trying to like lay behind the desk where all the tripods are set up for, for the lights and camera and stuff. And it's like, you're gonna knock them all over, over the place if you go lay back there. So I keep telling her no. Okay, here we go, you guys. We're gonna go kick some Giovanni Bootay. We gotta fight this rocket first. <clears throat> and then we're gonna fight Giovanni. So before, in between stream, I made sure everybody got up to level 40. So that's where we're at right now. Everyone is at level 40. Except for Jolteon, which had already gotten 41 last stream, of course. All right, who you got next, friendo? Marowak. Uh, yes. Let's do... Let's do... Who would be good? I guess we can bring out Haley. That should be fine. Oh, back to St. Paddy's Day. Yes, back to St. Paddy's Day. Depending on where you are, it's not as much of a thing as far as I'm aware. It's a small thing in Ireland and Irish immigrants to the States blew it up to a big thing. Yes, that's my understanding is that um, it's really about Irish immigrants that came over here and it became very, very popular with them and thus with the rest of America. Um, because it was an easy way to have something that was theirs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that makes sense. Unfortunately, St. Patrick's Day is not something I learned a lot about. I wish I had more context, but modern Irish classes aren't very culture-focused, more language-focused. That makes sense. Um, yeah, no, that's my understanding, too, is that St. Patty's Day is really more of, like, an, I an American Irish immigrant thing than it is um, an Irish in Ireland thing you know it's more the guys that came over here oh don't you hurt Haley okay you did good you did good Haley let's kill it with a quick attack there we go <clears throat> then after we do this I have to decide what I want to how I want to tackle the next bit I'm still not like a hundred percent sure yeah I got your key card bitches what you got to say uh, Karen, so we meet again. The president and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. Yes, that's always great. Threatening children with pain and other physical discomforts. This is what good people do that, um, that aren't evil. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right, let's get you with a psychic. This should just destroy the Nidorino. Yep. Super effective. Nitto Queen? No. We'll still use Badger for Nitto Queen. Oof! That Nitto Queen is fast! That Nitto Queen is f, f fast My gosh, golly. Okay. Ooh, super effective did not do as much as I wish it would've. Um, are you okay, Riri? 
She's like really restless today. I don't know. Are you okay, Ree? She's super restless. I don't know what her problem is. Are you okay, Ree? -Ree? She's like pacing a lot. She's getting really old, you guys. She's like somewhere between 15 and 17 years old at this point. I think her brain is kind of going. She's like kind of weird now, you know? Uh, oh yes, I do want to. Let's go to politician. Um, I mean, I guess this happens to like people too, like their personality changes a lot or they kind of lose their personality a little bit when their mind starts going, when they get that much older. I feel like she's kind of at that point right now where that is kind of happening to her. So she doesn't really like know what's going on or where she is sometimes, I feel like. No, Riri, no, we talked about that, come on. Just lay down, it's okay, you can lay down. It's okay. Yeah, good girl. Poor baby. Was the hydro pump good? It just like it didn't do, I would have thought it would have done more damage. Oh, I'm glad you missed. I love it when they miss. I love it when they miss. No, Ri, you can't go lay on the tripods. Come on now. It's okay, girl. There we go. Peep's like acting like she's gonna get settled and then she just gets up again. No, we can use politician for that. Ri, lay down, come on. You can't, you can't go under there. I'm sorry, you can't. She's like obsessed. But as soon as I let her back there, I know what she's going to do. She's going to knock all the tripods around. And there we go. Defeated Boss Giovanni. I lost again? Yes, you did. Because you're a loser. But Team Rocket will never fall. Karen, never forget all the Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, but I shall return. Whatever you say, Giovanni, whatever you say. Oh, dear girl, thank you for saving Sylph. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I'm rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. Yay, I got a Master Ball! Sweet. You can't buy that anywhere. Must West mess with important things. Every animal, when their human is streaming. It's true. Um, it will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it, though. Okay. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We, from President Down, are indebted to you. Sweet. I like that. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> you know how Lady has twice turned off my stream in the middle of stream? Well, I'm gonna admit something that's super cringe, but also true. I have been, like, riveted by the, um, the Vosh and Cat Black and ContraPoints, um drama that's been going on, on on Twitter and on Vosh's stream or whatever, right? I just can't help myself, you know? I just, I want to watch the arguing about stupid stuff instead of building coalitions and I can get, you know, upset about that. But anyway, <laughs> this is relevant to what I was saying because it happened to Vosh, okay? He has millions of followers and his dumb cat, just like my dumb cat, jumped on top of the computer and put its paw on the power button. And I felt so validated, like, oh, if it can happen to like, one of probably the most popular streamer in his particular category, I don't feel so bad. I don't feel so bad and so dumb about it happening in the middle of my streams twice now. <laughs> so that was, that was nice, very validating. <laughs> All right, we're gonna heal everybody up. So we're done. We're done with the Sylph Co. We got the Master Ball. The next level cap is 43. So here's the situation. Both the gym here and the gym in Fuchsia City both have the same level cap of 43. And so I can go ahead and try to fight one of those, but like I want to level a little more, especially the Pokemon that I plan to use, um, such as Jolteon and uh, Gyarados and Hypno. So I think what I'm gonna do actually is go handle the routes that we haven't done next. That's route, route 12, 13, 14, and 15. Um, we're having cabbage and potatoes and carrots and corned beef. Yes, that's exactly what I had. That's exactly what I had for dinner. We had um, cabbage, 
and uh, corn beef with potatoes and carrots. A while ago, 8-Bit Drummer was doing a gaming stream and his cat kept asking for love and attention. That's so cute. That's so cute. Lady, lady is exactly that. That's what she do all the time, every time. All right, you guys, since we're gonna do some roots, we will catch a few more Pokemon. Oh, I need to check my balls. I need to check on the balls. Make sure they're, that I still got enough balls. Okay, yes, I got a lot of balls. <sighs> Who's got big balls? Um. So, submit some more Pokemon names because we're gonna go catch some, like, literally right now. Uh, apparently Blue, a bits cat, only becomes a lap cat during gaming, which is adorable. Yeah, Lady wants attention when I'm working and when I'm streaming. She does not want attention when I'm like just chilling, watching TV show or something. She doesn't want attention when I'm like just playing a video game by myself. She wants attention when I am doing something like in front of an audience. It's like she knows. It's like she knows the camera is there and she wants it. All right, where am I on antidotes? Oh, I need more. I absolutely need more antidotes. Can never have too many antidotes. Oh, did I just hit no? Yes, I did. I want all the antidotes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Presto, ooh, that's a cool name. All right, that's all good. Okay, I think I'm good, see ya. See ya, don't wanna be ya. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do the first one here. Um, oh wait, did I? I think I, yes, okay. We're gonna fish. Our, our Pokemon for this route is gonna be one we fish up. We're gonna get a horsey. We're gonna get a horsey next. Oh my gosh, if something will bite anyway, then I will get a horsey. Come on, Pokemon. Don't do me wrong like this, there we go. Oh, it's a crappy. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Anyways, I forgot to get Butterfree. So it's good that it was a crappy. That we already have one. That is Presto. Well, is Presto from something? Is that like from a game? It looks like it might be a FNAF thing. Is that a FNAF thing? Alright, we're gonna swap. We're gonna get Butterfree so we can sleep them. Or Jolteon, yes. And Jolteon will come back and get you in just a little bit. Or maybe is Presto like a character for you, Koneko? Tell me, tell me. What is a Presto? No, it's not a FNAF thing, it's a Kingdom Hearts thing. Oh, of course it's a Kingdom Hearts thing. Why didn't I guess that? Um, regular Pat made the Presto up to be his mascot, and Presto is not a canon thing. Oh, it's a Kingdom Hearts fandom thing. Understood, understood. Oh my gosh, just give me a horsey. What's wrong with you? I know there's ones on this route. I know there's ones on this route. Let's try fishing from right here. So we're gonna, I know, so many carbs, my gosh. So we're gonna do these routes or some of them, some of them, maybe all of them, it depends on how quickly we level our Pokemon that we want to use in the upcoming um, gyms. But first, we got to get a horsey. And I don't remember how many trainer battles are along here. I hope it's a decent amount, but I really could not tell you. I want to say there's like some there's fishermen along this route. But this is where we're actually getting to like the part of the game that I'm a little nervous about. <laughs> like I'm legit nervous, you guys. Like I think. This is the part where I'm like, oh, my Pokemon might really die. <laughs> Not um, by like silly mistakes or crits or anything, but because like, you know, these uh, gym battles actually uh, have somewhat of a challenge. Oh my God, crabs, stop. 
I do not want Mr. Krabs. I want the horsey. Horsey? Maybe? Dang it. Is it like rare or something? I didn't look at like how rare it was. It just where to get where to get one. I know you can fish it up with the good rod, which is what I'm using. There we go. There's our friend. Okay, so let's do sleep powder. Yes, I have the good rod. I'm using it right now. Okay, then we are going to throw our balls. Do you like our balls, horsey? I hope you do. Yes, the answer is yes. He does. Okay, give a nickname, yes. We will. Presto! Presto, okay, let me make sure if there's any others chillin' in the queue that I forgot existed. Yeah, he must just have a kind of low encounter rate, you're right. Okay, no, that is the only one. Okay. So he's presto! Okay. Alright, let's go back and get Jolteon, and then we will continue along this route. So the whole reason for getting the liquid eyeliner, and I think I'm, I might start like making it a standard in, in most streams to wear some, because I think it makes my eyes look really good on camera. But also, I mean, the main reason is because next month our plan is to talk about Euphoria. So we're going to be watching um, Euphoria Season 1 and Euphoria Season 2 for, um, shoot, for uh, Interstage Window. And we're going to do episodes on at least season one and season two. I don't know yet if we'll have like a bonus like fandom episode on Euphoria or not, but we're at least going to have those two episodes on Euphoria. So I am learning um, what all the hype is about, <laughs> why everyone is so obsessed with Euphoria. I had not watched it before we decided to do an episode on it at all. There's a lookout spot upstairs. The view is magnificent. Jed, welcome in, Jed, welcome in. How have you been? My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Sweet. Reasonable. What's going on? Tell me what's up. I feel like because you've been on the um, on the stream break for so long, it's like I, I got so used to hanging out uh, in your stream every Friday night. It's like I'm missing, I'm missing Jed in my life. You know? Taking stuff from kids. Yeah, that's what I do. Like... What? Hello? Yeah, I got a bite here. Okay, sir. Yeah, it's been so it's been too long. It's been too long. I used to have a weekly dose of Jed, and now it's like an every once in a while thing. We're gonna destroy all these fishermen, no problems. Nope. Liama can keep going. We're just gonna try to get um, Liama and Politician and Badger up to level 43. That is the goal. That is the plan. And that will prepare us to take on the gyms. And I know it's cheating like a little bit because once I get into the gym and fight the, like, the bonus trainers, they'll level up a little bit more. But I'm scared, so I'm gonna break my own rules. It's my game, so I can do that. <laughs> so by the time we get to the gym leader, we'll be a little bit over the level cap, but I don't care. I don't care because I'm scared. Sabrina and Koga scare me. They're spooky scary. Next one. Jed, do you guys do anything with um, St. Patty's Day? In, um... 
in the in the UK in your area? We do. And we had corned beef and cabbage today. Lunch. Okay. Next one is lunch. Our queue is empty of Pokemon names. Can you believe it, Jed? So we've got to fix that by submitting some more. Some of the bars have stuff on. Oh, that's fun. You can get your green beers and your Guinnesses and all that. We actually have an Irish pub um, down the road from us that's really good. Um, has really amazing corned beef, and we've gone there a couple of times. Not this year, we made our own, but we've, we've done that before. <laughs> it is, it is a good name for a food Pokemon. Lunch would be a great name for the ice cream Pokemon. I'm in the studio tomorrow morning, so early one for me. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Gotcha. Yeah, can't can't go in um, after a, a St. Paddy's night of drinking if you gotta have an early one in the studio. For sure. All right, how are we doing? He's, he's kind of, he's gaining kind of good experience. Kind of good. I wish it was a little bit better, but all the trainers along here are not going to be that high a level, unfortunately. They're all going to be like this in their 20s, maybe early 30s level wise. Which means they'll all die in one hit, but still, you know. I love fishing, don't get me wrong, but it'd be best if I also had more work. Oh, well. Sorry, dude. I'm a kid. I can't give you work. So, that's that about that. So I've been slowly filling out my Pokedex and Legends Ar Arceus, but, um... I have to say, like, I was at the point where I needed a Legends Arceus break because I really was like, the only things left to do is fill out the Pokedex, I could do the update stuff, which I haven't done yet, um, or I could go catch Arceus himself, but that was really hard. I tried once and I failed and I have not tried again. <laughs> um, so I was just filling out the Pokedex, but, um, but I needed a little break. I needed a little Legends Arceus break, uh, you know, so because I wasn't feeling it as strongly anymore. And so I switched over to my personal game that I'm playing, um, and I restarted my island on Animal Crossing. <laughs> I just decided, like, it's time to cross animals again. I need to do some, an some Animal Crossing and cross them animals. So I restarted my island, and um, and I've, I've tried to speed run, time travel, unlock, all the things, the terraforming and stuff, so I can do everything, and um, and that's where I am. I and I got all, managed to get all my villagers through. I have amiibos, amiibos for some of them, but then for others, I had to use like time traveling and getting them out and that sort of thing. So I have been um, doing that. If I win, I'm going to propose to Gia. Well, what if you lose? Do I get to propose to Gia? Is that like how this works? If you lose, I propose. Young couple, Gia and Jess. Okay. Got it. They look related, not gonna lie. <laughs> Jed! <laughs> they might be. Don't judge them. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they just made their sprites the same. You know how, like, when couples are together for a long time, and eventually they get to the point where they like look really similar and people start mistaking them for siblings. And it's n they're not siblings at all, it's just that they've been together for a really long time and they've somehow like merged their look together. You know how like sometimes people look like their pets? Like that, but like with a couple. Have you ever known a couple like that? I've definitely seen couples like that. Where it's like, why do y'all look so similar? <laughs> and it's just they've been together for so long. So maybe these two have been like together since elementary school or something and so you know they just they just look similar. Okay, let's um let's pin missile again. No, they're brother and sister. Jed. <laughs> oh no, why it failed? Was that Nidoran's attack? I was not paying attention to the beginning of the sentence, I just saw the failed. Well, Jed, that's a headcanon you can you can put out there if you want to. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything on AO3 for them. What were their names? Gia and Gia and something? 
Okay, he's level 42 now. Fabulous. Uh, Thunder Wave. Probably not. I think that one just paralyzes. Yeah. Yeah, no. I don't care about that. Um, stop learning Thunder Wave. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna learn Thunder Wave. Yeah, Gia, Gia and Jess. Oh, one was adopted. Oh, so they're not like, so they're like, si they're like siblings, raised as siblings, but they're not siblings. Or do you mean like adopted by another family? Do you want to use the Poke Flute? Yes, get out my way, Snorlax. I already caught one, so we're not going to catch this one. Plus we had Horsey for this route. Okay, let's try to kill it. Do you guys think we can do it? Do you guys think Liama can take it on? I mean, he's quite a lot of levels above, so I feel like he probably can. The Snorlaxes are bulky. He's a bulky bitch. Oh yeah, he's a bulky bitch. Oh no. No separated at birth. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. So it's a situation where it was like, they were siblings, but they were separated at birth, adopted by different families, and then they found each other later in life. Oh, don't you heal, you bitch! <sighs> and then Liama's asleep. My god. Okay, let's do this. Taylor, come save the day. Come save the day, Taylor. With your bulky self. Yeah, his HP's already full. Okay. Let's do a rock throw. Yeah, Jed, that's that's the stuff um, erotica is made of. So, you know. There you go. That's a fanfiction gift for you. Go forth. Oh my god. Stop regaining health while you're sleeping, Snorlax. That is cheating. That is cheating. No one should be able to do that. Okay. Kendra! Kendra, welcome! How are you feeling? How are you doing? I feel like it's been so long since I've seen you on a Thursday stream. I know you've been busy and um, had some, you know, sickness and things like that. Oh, oh, here we go. We're writing it. And Gia's parents knew immediately when they were introduced, but chose not to say anything because it would unpack the sadistic web of lies and deceit her old child's life was constructed upon. <gasps> oh my word. <laughs> yes. Death. That's what I was afraid of. I'm so sorry, Kendra. Snorlax. Legends Arceus made me very annoyed with Snorlax. I was very happy to announce that I eventually caught it. On the funny side note, did you know most Pokemon in the game cannot see you? If you're on a ledge above the head, it takes them forever to figure out where you are. I used to play. <laughs> oh, yes, that's true. And then um, once you get later in the game and you get like the the, the most, um, what are they called? Like fly balls, wing balls, jet, no, jet balls. Once you get jet balls, um, then you can actually like get on the ledges and like throw the Pokeballs down and, and like they'll go really far. It's awesome. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. I got the super rod. Okay. Fishing is a way of life. It is like the finest poetry. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one, my friend. Now, I have a request. If you catch a big Magikarp with a rod, I want to see it. As much as I love to fish, I'd also love seeing a gigantic Magikarp. Um, do you mean a Gyarados? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I guess he really wants to see a Magikarp. Oh, well, we're probably not going to do that. I don't, I, I don't remember what he gives you or what that does. So we're probably not going to do it. Okay. Jolteon's asleep. We need to give him some awakening. It's fine. It's fine. Well, it is fine, but you know, it's still like, I hate that you're sick. Hate that for you. I missed you on Monday so much. Um, I did that with wing balls a lot, although I also eat orange berries and lure them within range. I have plenty of berries, so I might as well. True. I sell my, I sell my berries. I sell them. I don't keep them, except for the hoppo berries, because it, it goes into one of the recipes for, like, I think stealth spray? I can't remember. Ah, uh, yes, going around to strangers' houses to sample their rods. Well, you know, he heard that I had really great balls. So, you know, obviously he was interested. I mean, wouldn't you be? 
so he heard of me. Oh, I'm so glad I switched. Holy fuck. Self-destruct I am terrified of. I'm so glad I put Taylor in for that. Um, no, we're gonna keep Taylor. I literally had a 10 minute standoff with the Infernape on Ronimus Island. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's annoying. <laughs> yep. Um, I used to do all of that and then I just like got tired of it. So now I stun them. I'm like bloop, bloop, bloop with the sticky balls. And then I throw my Pokeball when they're stunned and then I catch them. It's faster <laughs> and I don't get as annoyed. Except when they break out of the ball, then I am really annoyed. Oh. Oh no. We don't have Landon anymore, so we don't have a cutter. Oh, wait. We have to teach to cut to somebody. Um. No one's able. I don't have a cutter, you guys. I don't have a cutter. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm not sure. Do I do I I want to do the battle and I want the item. We have to go get a cutter, you guys. We have to go get a cutter. Escape rope. Where are you? It must be higher up. I must have passed it. Escape rope, escape rope. There we go. Oh, I, I thought it would teleport me to the... Whatever. I guess I just run back. For real, though, that is indeed the forgotten Mario brother. <laughs> True. What's down here? Is this a... Oh, this is into Route 11. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I thought it would teleport me. I was wrong. It did not. It said no. Only in caves and stuff, I guess. Like inside areas. So yeah, um I'm I I put Arceus on pause this week, and I've been crossing animals, and I have I have no regrets. I'm gonna focus this round, this will be my third time trying to make an island. I'm gonna focus on decorating. I'm not gonna worry about like actually playing the game or anything. I'm just gonna terraform and decorate and terraform and decorate. And terraform. I didn't mean to do Karen's PC. Bill's PC. There we go. Um, terraform and decorate, and that's that's what I'm gonna do. All right. So I bet that Pidgeot can cut. So let's see if that's true. Oh, but no, I do want I want Jolteon. Okay. Who is okay to not have? I guess it would be okay to not have Holly for right now. All right, sorry, Holly, you can chill in the box. All right, um, let's make sure that he can learn cut. Do you have Happy Home Designer? Oh, he's he can't. Dang it. Uh, no, I do not have Happy Home Designer, Koneko. I'm. I think if I play long enough, I will get Happy Home Designer. But I don't want to get it, and then it turns out that I'm only really interested in playing for like a week, and then I get bored again. So I'm just waiting to make sure that I actually, you know, want to play that much. Okay. Um, no. I'm sure we've been Belkin Learn Cut, because he's a grass type. Okay. Uh, yes, Mr. Jane should totally learn cut. So I guess that'll take over growth. That should be good. Poof. Mr. Jane's gonna learn cut. Because I just can't handle not being able to go get that item and fight that trainer. Okay. Let's swap people around. Gosh, that's such a bummer. I wish we still had landed. Oh well. I killed her. It's my fault. Nobody nobody to be mad at but me. But yeah, Kunik, if I play long enough, then I will do that. 
Um, also, uh, so that you guys know, I have a super secret, um, well, actually, I gave it to Shadow. But anyways, I have a super secret, uh, Animal Crossing Discord server. If you are actively playing your Animal Crossing, you're welcome to join. It's like a friends-only, invite-only thing, so you just need to let me know if you're interested, and then I will send you the info so that you can get added. It's like a strictly Animal Crossing, like, it's not, like, heavily moderated or anything, so the only rule is basically you're only allowed to talk about Animal Crossing. No other chit-chat, because then, of course, we'd have to, like, moderate it and make rules and shit, you know? And I don't want to do all that. Don't want to do all that, so... Um, instead, it's just unmoderated. But only Animal Crossing is allowed to be talked about. Are you searching for a moonstone? No! I have gotten moonstones. I have the moonstones. I don't have, um, Pokémon to use them on, though. Unfortunately. Alright. Uh, pin missile this bitch. Is that gonna do anything? That's probably not gonna do much of anything. Yeah, I need to get out Badger and do that. Psychic. Come here, Badger. I thought I heard I thought I heard noises of kitty cats, but I didn't. So yeah, that's what I've been doing this week. There we go, that was super effective. Uh, no. Oh, they're very low level. He barely got any experience for that. Maybe this Nidorino will give him more experience. Gosh, it's so hard. It's gonna be so hard to get close to 43 for taking on those gems. Iron! Okay, well, I guess I really didn't care that much about iron, but whatever. It's fine. It's not a big deal. What's catching? You never know what you could catch. I guess that's true. You do never know. Oh, there's a Magikarp. How does, how does he have a level 24 Magikarp? How is it not evolved? 24. 24. How does this happen, sir? How does this happen? I don't understand. Explain it to me. You did not evolve your magic heart. Um. Yes, let's actually get Badger out. Liama, come back. I think I'm gonna switch and put Badger in front, because Liama is now 42. Um, so very close to that level cap. So I think I'm gonna let Badger get the experience now. Yes. Player defeated. Fisherman Andrew. Okay. Oh, not bag. What am I doing? Pressing the wrong button, that's what I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna switch. Do like that. Okay. I think this is just... Yeah, this is just grass over here. Yeah, there's nobody in that grass. I found Carbos in a cave once while I was spelunking. Whoa. Just press B when he tries to evolve alternative to ever soon. Alternatively, he caught it at that level. He must have caught it at that level, because why would you not evolve a Magikarp? Like, why? Why would you not evolve a Magikarp unless, like, you weren't going to use it for battle for some reason? But if you're going to use it for battle, like, evolve that bitch, you know? All it can do is splash and tackle. So, what you doing, you know? What you doing? I don't get it. See, this girl's got the right idea. With, these, with her water Pokemon, because Magikarp. I guess if you really love Magikarp, um, then that's a thing. <laughs> In Arceus, do you see that you that for the uh, Magikarp Pokedex entry, you have to get it to use Splash, like, what was it, like 50 times or 40 times or something? It was like a stupid amount. I was like, wow. <laughs> I could not believe it, but I did it. I did do it. I, I couldn't believe it, but I did do it. What's up, dude? My bird Pokemon want to battle with you. Okay. That reminds me, in Legends, I encountered two Alpha Magikarp. What? Nice. Oh my gosh, Lunar! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And welcome in to the stream today. How's it going? Are you doing good today? We're gonna poison gas him. Ooh, quick attack, rude. 
Horrible? Oh no, tell me about it. What's happening? What's happening, Lunar? Is everything okay? Oh, that really didn't do much. I guess I do have to psychic it. I was trying to not use up all my psychics. Uh, hmm. No, we'll, we'll keep that. Does anyone feel like March is just kind of a bad month? I was actually talking about this with my husband the other day. Um, we've had a lot of marches where really bad things have happened. Either we've had some, like, serious medical emergency, that's happened a couple of times to us, actually. Or we've had some kind of, like, disaster, like, household disaster. Um, that's happened a couple of times. Like, today we had a- well, not today, this month. We had a whole bunch of freaking drama with the insurance company. They just- they made a mistake and said that I- like, I was not on our house insurance, which was not true. And they insisted we change a bunch of stuff, which we went and, and changed, but like they made it so extra hard and there was so many useless phone calls involved. And it wasn't, it wasn't even like anything wrong. It was like just straight up their mistake. So it was like really, really frustrating. I ended up spending like probably in total 10 hours on the phone, filling out forms, stuff like that to fix what in my opinion is a non-issue. But whatever, it's like it's all solved now and it's whatever, but it was like, oh my God. We've been living in this house for five years, and there's been no problems, but now suddenly there's a problem. Um, my job told me I wasn't a good fit since I was still in my 90 days. They're gonna let me go. What? Okay, Lunar, you know that's not true. That they have- it's some kind of layoff situation, and they've just chosen you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't see what Pokemon it was. Oh well. Hopefully I just kill it in one hit because it's low level. Yeah, I can kill that in one hit. I'm so sorry, Lunar. It's not you, you know? And maybe the next job will be, like, ten times better. That's what ended up happening to me when I was laid off. Um, when I was laid off, it took it took about four months to find the next job. But, uh, but it's the best job ever that I've had you know, in all the ones, so it ended up being a blessing. And the job I got let go from when I think back on it, it actually kind of sucked. I won't lie about- about to order pizza for dinner. You deserve a pizza for dinner. Hearing that, Lunar, for real. Oh my god. It's their loss. For real, it's their loss. They have no idea. And they're wrong. I'm sure of it. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, we're on the next route now. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the next route. Oh, and there's lots of trainers here. Oh, fabulous. Okay. We... Okay, what are we gonna do? I really want to go get the other Pokemon out, but like... No, it's fine. We'll continue on. We'll continue. Wow, your badges are too cool. Thanks! I killed other Pokemon to get them. I'm the good guy. Go, Badger! Alright, that's my last Psychic. Hopefully I have a, some, an item that can redo my uh, PP. I need to restore my PP. Um, yes. Politician can go out. All right, let's bite it. Chomp chomp. All right, let's do... Let's see, do I have... Yes, I do have some ethers, okay. Yes, restore psychic. I told them in my interview my first day I didn't know anything about pain medicine because I worked in urgent care and they don't do anything like that, so yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, Lunar, shame on them for not, like, for, like, hiring you and then not being interested in, like, developing your skills so that you could, 
you know, handle the pain medicine stuff properly. Really, like, shame on them for that. That's on them. They chose to hire you anyway. You know what I mean? Like, they should have worked on developing your skills with that. They didn't even want to move me, like, to check out or back up. Yeah, that's just... Yeah. So, see, like, stuff like that, like, tells me it really didn't have to do with you, like, not being a good fit. They they were in a, some kind of situation where they had to let somebody go for some reason, like, budgetary or something like that. Um, or they wanted to, like, ha have someone come in, do the job for cheaper. Or, you know, some kind of situation like that, right? Like, it has nothing to do with, like, you and your performance. And honestly, I feel like that's most of the time when people get let go. Most of the time when people get let go, it doesn't have very much to do with their performance. It has to do with other crap. Other stuff that's just like beyond control. That doesn't make sense and it makes me feel better. Oh, good. I'm glad. Well, I know that once you kind of get through the little funk part, you're gonna go start looking for something again, and you're gonna find something. It's not like you've not done job search before, so I know you know how to do it and you know how to find something. And whatever you find, it's probably going to be awesome. Okay. He's actually leveling up not too slow. Maybe it's just because there's the trainers are closer together here. I feel like that those levels just came really quick. Um, but I feel like they did. Okay. Uh, yes, I would like to cut it. Oh, shoot. I do have to run back. Because I need to get, I need to get Butterfree to catch a Pokemon there. Okay, well let's do another, let's do this trainer battle. Okay, so we might come back. We might come back because we got to catch a Pokemon there. Actually for route 13, 14, and 15, there's two possible Pokemon. We can get Venom, we're going to get Venonat and Ditto. But there's, there's three routes, so one of the routes we won't catch anything. But we'll get a Venonat and a Ditto. And we'll use those names that are in the queue. So we've got, let's see what we've got. We've got Lunch and Dr. Lumps. I definitely f like feel called to name my ditto Dr. Lumps. Like that feels right to me. You know what I mean? Like that just feels, that feels right. Um, yeah, let's get out Politician. It's time to level you up. We'll get you to 40. We'll get him to 42. We'll get all, all these guys to 42. Yeah, it does. Ditto feels like lumps. <laughs> he's lump. He's lump. He's lump. He's in my head. <clears throat> it's a good song. Uh, no. We're just going to keep going. Chomp chomp. What? Oh my gosh. Dragged out Haley. I guess you want to be set on fire. That bird is on fire! There we go. I don't know why you did that. You were in a better position when I had Politician out. Even though it wasn't much of a better position. Oh, let's do... Let's switch to politician. They're both 42 now. Let's see. Okay, we got this trainer. Okay, so there is a lot of there is a lot of trainers on this particular route, so we should be good. Which okay, so which gym should we take on? Like, cause politician's gonna get 
42, and then it will be time to pick one of the gems. Should I do Koga first, or should I do Sabrina first? Which one? Which one do you guys think? Poison? Or Psychic? Mm, no. We'll keep Gyarados. Poison's more doable at this point, I think. Oh, we've got one vo one vote for Poison and one vo vote for Sabrina. Doesn't make my choice easier when you guys have different opinions. Gosh. You should, you should learn to mind meld so that you have the same opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know which one is, because I feel like both of these gyms are kind of intimidating to me. Like, my plan was for the poison, for the poison gym, um, going in and using, like, uh, Gyarados and Hypno. Right? So I can use Gyarados against some of the ones that have like some psychic typing with them. And then use Hypno against the Arbox that are in there, plus against Koga himself. <clears throat> like that was my thought. <laughs> That's okay. As we established, like, March is a bad month. Like, I don't know. Bad things happen in March. You should definitely be aware of the Ides of March. It's like a real thing that affects real life and real people. What's up, Riri? Oh, she's on the move again. You thirsty? The water's right there. It's not outside. The water's right there. Oh no. I don't know what her deal is. You want out? I believe it being let go and all. Yeah, like, bad, crazy things happen in March. What's wrong, Ree? You okay? I can't tell if she wants to leave the room or if she just wants to pace. I think she might just want to pace. Poor baby. She's getting so old. I know, Ree. He's an old lady. I'm gonna have to give her some more glucosamine tonight so she doesn't get too uncomfortable. It appears that Cleo has finally decided to confront the cat that keeps coming in the garden. They're having a shouting match right now. Oh no! Cleo, you can do it! Go Cleo! Go Cleo! I believe in you! Defend your territory <laughs> from that insolent neighbor cat. Um, is it like a neighbor's cat or is it like a um, feral cat that lives in the neighborhood, Jed? Bye, Spiro. Uh, no. I'm gonna have to restore some of the bite power. Let's do Twister. Why not? I like the animation for that one. I think so. Not sure if we have any feral cats around here these days. Oh, I see. So it's just like somebody's pet that they let outside sometimes. Well then, you might you might need to go like intervene so that people's pets don't get hurt. But I don't know if I would get in the middle of a kitty cat fight. <laughs> kitty cats can be vicious. Vicious and crazy. Yeah, most cats in this area are indoor, outdoor, if that makes sense. That's how our cat was growing up. We do indoor only now, but it's really just because it's like so way safer. Um, and I don't want to deal with the vet bills. <laughs> For the indoor outdoor cat we had uh, growing up, you know, we had a, a cat door basically so that he could come and go as he pleased. And um, he would get into fights and stuff sometimes and 
I can remember two times that we had to take him to the vet because the opponent cat actually, you know, got claws or teeth or whatever into his face and, you know, had to make sure that he got antibiotics or whatever and that it healed right. Oh no, politicians poisoned. Oh my gosh. Mm, let's go to Taylor. The cat who used to be in charge of the area around our backyard has apparently left. Owners might have moved. So now we have a variety of neighborhood cats vibing from time to time. A few days ago, the brown and red Torby tried to fight the black kitty through the fence. That was hilarious. Oh my god, through the fence? Through the fence? Crazy. That's crazy. Cats will do that kind of nonsense, though. <clears throat> I think they're going to intimidate each other. Uh, no. Yeah, Lunar, Taylor's, uh, Taylor's badass. Taylor's badass, really bulky lady. Um, she can take all the hits and, uh, and keep on trucking. You know, nobody puts Taylor in the corner. Nobody. So, you know, she's great against these really annoying, um, coughings and wheezings and mucks. You know, and those guys that really bother me. Um... No, we're going to keep Taylor. Yeah, it's great. Super bulky. She can survive all the, like, self-destructs and all that craziness. Oh my god, stop missing, though! There we go. I guess all of those misses were so that she could crit. Where is, let's get a potion on politician. All right, and then we need, oh, it's all the way down at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, an antidote. She has a plan always, exactly. <laughs> we also often see a red tabby who used to be the Calico's great rival when the Calico was the one in charge. Um, it had a grayish brown tabby, and the neighbors opposite our house had a silver gray tabby, but we haven't seen that one outside yet. Well, maybe they don't let it outside? I don't know. How common is that in your area, Koneko? Like, do people have, like, mostly indoor-outdoor cats, or do people have, like, indoor-only cats? I feel like it's kind of, it kind of really depends on the neighborhood. Like, here in the U.S., like, so indoor-outdoor is pretty common, but strictly indoor is pretty common, too. It really, really depends. Let's do Twister again. I think that's the dragon move that does strictly 40 damage, period. You okay, Ree? She's like, just looking like she won't, doesn't know where she wants to settle down. Nope, we're gonna keep going with politician. Gosh, he's almost at the, he's almost at the level 42. Depends on the owners, people tend to let cats out a lot in this area, there's so many cats around here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I think she really does want out. Hang on guys, let me let her out the room. I wanna see if she needs to go like out, out. Um, I will be right back, let me get back on so you can listen. There you go, you can listen to this music, I'll be right back.
were right, you guys. She really had to potty. <laughs> but we made it. We made it outside in time. It was, the day was saved. Levi's gonna let her back in when she's done. <gasps> oh my gosh. So that's why she was antsy, because her bladder was full. That makes sense. It wasn't like a pain or something that she was going through. She just had to pee. <clears throat> that's another thing that definitely has been happening to her since she's gotten older. She, she just, she cannot hold it. <laughs> Uh, she will have to pee, and then, like, 30 minutes later, she will have to pee again, and she cannot wait. Um, that happens pretty, pretty frequently. I personally have the opinion cats should be indoor only for their health and safety and ensure they don't mess up bird populations. And have access to a catio for enrichment, but I'm not gonna argue with people over it. Yeah, no. I mean, I basically feel the same way, but, um... I mean, it really depends on the cat and on the people and how they're raised, because once you once you allow the cat to live outside somewhat, it's really hard to keep them as indoor only. Um, and sometimes you don't you don't you don't get a choice if you adopt a cat or things like that. And um, I'm hoping when we move to the new house, because we're going to have like a real screened in porch that we can let the cats out on the screened in porch so they can experience some outside stuff without actually like you know, going into the elements and and getting messed with by other cats and messing with birds and stuff. But that way they can like, you know, experience the outdoors because they love when we open the windows and like sitting in front of the screen, you know? So I'm hoping we can do that in the new place. I'm excited for it. I think they're gonna like it. I hope so anyway. Okay, Politicians 42, fabulous. All right, are there any other trainers along this route? We might as well just finish up this route. Okay, yeah, there are a few. Let's do, let's let um, Haley get some levels. Why the heck and heck not, right? I don't think it's outdoor cats, but I'm all for safe exploration outdoors. Cats and leashes are my favorite thing. You know, I've thought about getting a harness and a leash for Lady because she is so hyper and has so much energy. I think she would really like it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then I think about, like, trying to put it on her, and, and I just don't know. I just don't know. Cleo will not be contained. Honestly, closed doors genuinely seem to stress her out big time. <laughs> they probably do, Jed. They stress out a lot of cats. That's why I think sometimes, like, best of intentions, uh, it sometimes has a lot more to do with the cat than, uh, than we... Than, we want to admit. <laughs> Sometimes that cat makes the decision whether they're going to be indoor only or not, and you do not get a say. <laughs> uh, no, this is fine. I'm just going to kill these bird keepers with Haley. All right. Yay, 41. Shot down in flames. That's right, Marlin. It goes like that sometimes. But yeah, it's hard to retrain a, retrain a cat from outdoor to indoor. Yeah, mm-hmm. They can become partially indoor, but they'll usually need some outdoors. That, is, that has been my experience, too. Even though, like, on paper, indoor only is best, sometimes that does not work out. And uh, an indoor-outdoor is what you end up having to do. <laughs> I've seen per people convert their entire yard into effective catios. Oh my god. That would be insane. Um, doing that. <laughs> oh my word. I'm not 100% on her background before she came to us. Her previous owners may have died, which might explain her dislike for closed doors. If she was trapped... Hope that's not the case. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Like, cats in general don't like closed doors, so I don't think it would take, like, that much of a traumatic event for a cat to, like, start, like, legitimately freaking out at closed doors. Because, like, they already don't like it, you know? Even, like, a, a regular well-adjusted cat, like, doesn't like closed doors. <laughs> okay, this is definitely, like, the next route at this point. I think we finished this route. So, just look at... I'm gonna actually look at the map. Wow. Um, town map. First time I think I've opened it. Ever. Okay, yeah, that's where we are. Okay, well, we are going to run back 
fast like lightning. But let's get on our bike. We don't ride our bike very much. Bicycle, bicycle, I want to ride my bicycle, bicycle. Yep, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go to the box. Oh, come on, there we go. A closed door? I must know what is behind it, every cat ever. Exactly. Exactly. Zoom, zoom, zoom on my bike, bike, bike. We'll have to come back and get that little item later once we can surf. Okay, we made it back to town. Let's go into our boxes. Sometimes bike make you go too fast and you smash into things. Oops. Uh, let's move Pokemon and we will take this guy. We don't need you anymore. You're just our cutter. I guess, um, I guess I can move you down to this area to keep you separated since we will actually use you for certain things. When we need to cut. Okay. Let's do fly. Oh, I, cause I'm inside. Oops. Okay, well, I guess let's heal up, and then we'll walk outside and we'll fly. Okay, you guys, I think we're gonna go... I think we're gonna do the psychic one. That's the one I'm most scared of. It's the one I'm the most nervous about. I should get over with. We should get over with Sabrina. If it goes awful, and this is the end of the run, then it is what it is. But, um... Yep. Let's go to Saffron. Take us there, Moisty. Okay, so we need to put Holly back in the party. Hopefully, we'll just destroy with our psychic. The psychic with um, our bug move. Okay, that's the other gem. Okay. Here we go. Actually, okay. I can't stand it. <laughs> I have to save. I have to save. Make a backup. In case things go horribly, terribly wrong. Okay, there we go. State saved. Yo, champ of the making, Sabrina's Pokemon use psychic power instead of force. Fighting Pokemon are especially weak against psychic Pokemon. They'll get destroyed before they can even aim a punch. Alright. Sabrina's young, but she's also a highly skilled leader. You won't reach her easily. I know, because I don't have this puzzle memorized, and I didn't make any notes on how to get through it. So, we're flying blind, you guys. We're flying blind. <laughs> Don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh, he's water, so we can use Shockwave. Fabulous. So we can get slow pokes easier. You just wanna get through it, to be honest. I do, I just wanna get through it. I'm, I'm scared. Um, I'm not confident with, uh, with my strategy. Um, this is the gym that it's not that I think I can't beat it, it's that I'm really nervous about can I beat it without killing any of my Pokemon. Yeah, I try to deliberately battle them, but I don't I don't have any notes for this gym, so I don't know um, if that will happen. We'll, we'll just, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, you know? 
We're gonna try. We're gonna fight some trainers. We're gonna see what's up. That was rude, Slowbro. That was really rude. You should have just died to the shockwave. Then we wouldn't have had to deal with your rudeness. Alright. Let's try that one. Okay, that just takes us there. <clears throat> yeah, and I learned, which I didn't realize, like, if you go and battle the gym leader, none of the trainers will fight you afterwards. So, I didn't realize that. I had no idea. Um, so yeah, that was fun to learn. <laughs> oh, she has a ghost. Okay. I didn't realize there was channelers in here. Let's do... Let's let, um... Let's let Taylor take it on. Since Taylor's so strong and bulky. Let's let her go. Bo took Taylor with it. What? <gasps> oh no, that's what Destiny Bond does? Oh shit, I should have swapped. Well, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Bye, Taylor. It's okay. I never in I never thought I would have a Taylor anyway. Yep, it destiny bonded. And I didn't know how to take I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. I totally forgot what that move did. That was like 100% my fault. Can't be mad at it, anything. Okay, so fighting doesn't affect it. How do I, I guess I'm just gonna have to use Badger on the Ghastlies, even though I don't want to. Mm, yep, 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 we're just gonna have to switch to Badger. Come on, Badger. <laughs> Today is so bad. <sighs> but I'm doing this to myself, like I didn't have to do this, you know? I didn't have to do this. Go take on Sabrina's gym right now. I chose that. Come on, Badger. Don't hurt yourself. There we go. Good job. Uh, okay. Well, we'll have to pick a different Pokemon. No, we're just going to let Badger Psychic it. Um, we'll have to go back. Um to there we go we'll have to go back to the um focus center and pick somebody else out of our boxes that we want to use destiny bond only works for one turn that was just unfortunate i see i lost after all <clears throat> okay let's backtrack oh I guess that's not where I came in on. Is it this one? There we go. Nope. I want to go back to the beginning. There we go. Alright. Let's go pick a new friend. If you guys have a preference of who you think I should replace Taylor with, let me know. Alright, go to the party. Okay, Taylor. Let's go. Sorry, Taylor. You were a good Pokemon. It was my fault. Alright. Um, we could go with... We could go with Weepin' Bell. Because that's like, you know, another grass poison and we don't have land in anymore. That might be good. I don't want to do a water Pokemon because we have Gyarados still going strong. Um, don't need Butterfree because we have our Psychic Pokemon. Yeah, I think we're going to... Let's do Weepin' Bell. Mr. Jane can work. Yeah, I think so. I think Mr. Jane's a good choice.
All right, let's see what order I've got my friends in. All right, that's all good. That's all good. Do, 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 do. Okay, take two. Let's not die this time, you guys. <laughs> Let's not kill anybody. Uh, Taylor was such a good Pokemon. We'll remember you, Taylor. We'll remember you and all the things that you did for us. And um, all the good times that we had. Okay, I really don't want to fight another channeler. How many rooms are in here? Is it just six rooms? Oh no, it's a, it's a nine by nine. It's another freaking channeler. Come on. Like, I'm scarred. Can I fight somebody else? Okay, I'll fight you. It's fine. Yeah, no more Destiny Bond. No more Destiny Bond. Psychic, Psychic Joan would like to battle. Sent out Kadabra. Alright, let's see how good the pin missile does against you. I love how fast Liama is. He's great. Okay, that's a lot of damage. That's pretty good. Maybe uh, maybe it's going to be okay. Maybe this fight's going to go okay. Mm, no, we'll just zap him. We'll zap that slowpoke. There we go. Okay, I'm get. I feel like I'm getting my mojo back. Like it's 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 good. Things are good. <clears throat> um, no. I know he's gonna. We won't let him get to level 44. We'll swap to somebody. And missile. Bye, Mr. Mime. Uh, no. We'll just keep going. Super effective. Aw, man, if you would have hit one more time, Liama. One more time. That's okay. We'll do quick attack and get you. Bye, Kadabra. All right, let's put... Oh, not Pokedex. Come on. Pokemon. Let's put Haley in front for those... Channelers. I have a feeling I'm going to see another. Oh, nope. I fought this guy. I'm sure it's a situation where it's just like one of these teleports is what actually gets to her, and I don't know which one it is. Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for training psychics. You want to see Sabrina, don't you? I can tell. Please don't let her die. I'll try my best, Lunar. I'll try my best. Hopefully I won't get Destiny bonded again. But that flamethrower, it packs a lot of damage, so... Oh, but it would be a slow bro. It would be a slow bro. Alright, let's swap. Uh, we will let um, Mr. Jane take on that slow bro. You would raise your special defense when I'm about to vine with you. That's so rude of you. Oh, but man, he don't do no damage. I gotta get Mr. Jane some better moves. Um, this is not good. Not good moves. He needs a better grass move. I probably need to just evolve him. Probably just need to evolve him. So we can have better stats. And then probably do a te teach him some kind of better grass move. I maybe have a better grass move like TM or something that I can give to him. That might be good. But I didn't realize he didn't have like Razor Leaf or anything. Um, yash. Come on, just kill it. Just kill it. You're so close.
Do you really need to raise your special defense more? Come on, dude. All right. Good job, Mr. Jane. I'm thinking that's why originally I didn't want to use Mr. Jane, because I didn't like the Weeping Bell's move pool. Maybe that was my logic before, when I put in Holly instead of getting another grass type in there. Let's see. Do we have a better, do we have a good TM for him? Mm -mm -mm. Got Bullet Seed. No, that's shitty. Giga Drain. Giga Drain could be good. Do we have anything else? Any other grasses? No. We just have Giga Drain. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna make Weepin' Bell actually viable. Yes. We don't want no stupid Vine Whip. We want Giga Drain. Okay. Here we go. Does anybody have status effect? Okay, no, we're all good. We just need to heal. I need to, like, organize that somehow. There's no, like, bag organizer in this gen, so it's just, like, all haphazard. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Another stupid channeler. I guess I can fight you. Let's put Haley in front. Flamethrower should get those ghastlies. Sabrina is far younger than I, but she has earned my respect. Good for you. Chandler Amanda. They're lower level, so like, it should be fine. Yep. I was hoping Haley could Oko them. I was thinking she could. Nope, I think she can Oko the Haunter too. Yep, she so can. Okay, there we go. That's how we'll take the other Chandlers. Not good enough. That's right, it wasn't. It was not good enough. I think there's maybe one more trainer that we haven't fought. And we still haven't landed on Sabrina's. Once we fight them all, it'll be easier to keep track of which ones we've stepped on and which ones we haven't. Good job, Haley. I knew it. What did you know? What did you know? Okay, we already fought him. Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't fight him. You understand, don't you? The power alone isn't enough to win the world of Pokemon. Yes, I know. Tell Team Rocket they're the ones that don't know. Alright, can Haley Oko Mr. Mime? Probably. Nope. So this is good to know for sure. That flamethrower is just awesome. Kadabra used roleplay? What? Kadabra can RP? Oh my gosh. Sorry I have to kill you, Kadabra. Yeah, she's super badass. I love Ninetales. Ninetales is a good Pokemon. Definitely a bro. Okay, did I get this channeler? Yes. Have I gotten this guy? Yes. Okay, I think I've gotten all the trainers now. Just have to figure out which teleport pad actually goes to Sabrina. Don't know which one it is. Kadabra are known for their intelligence. I'm not surprised. Oh! That's awesome. Yes. There we go, made it. Okay. 
Let's heal everybody up. Make sure they're all potioned up. Okay, everybody's actually good on their health. Does Liama need an ether, though? No. No. Seven, yeah, they've got 17 pin missiles. We should be fine. We should be fine. Okay, you guys. I'm uh, saving again. That's why the music paused. Because I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you win, I will show you my powers. Okay. Let's see her powers. Go, Liyama! Pin missile! That's what's great about Liyama is how fast he is. There we go. Okay. 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 What's next? What you got, Sabrina? What you got? Uh, no. Nope, nope. Pin missile again. Oh, it doesn't do as much to Mr. Mime. That's not good. Okay. Alright, what you got, Mr. Mime? Oh, barrier. Okay. Defense. Mmm. Let's pin missile again. Even though Shockwave's special the type. There we go. Okay, and it critted. Fabulous. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. I fucked the clown up. I fucked the clown up for you, Jane. That's for you. That's for you, my friend. Venomoth. Um, no. In this one, we're gonna fuck up this Venomoth. We're gonna fuck it up for St. Patty. Okay? This is for St. Patty. Oh no, not Psybeam. Oh, okay, good. That didn't do a lot of damage. Oh, I got scared. I got scared that was about to do a lot of damage. I got real scared that was about to do a lot of damage, but it didn't. Okay. Uh, Alakazam. No. We're gonna pin missile again. We're gonna pin missile again. Oh, Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Um. How likely is it, do you think, for him to use Psychic again? I'm just, I'm questioning whether I want to put Badger in, because he's also a Psychic type, and it, Psychic won't do as much damage, or if I want to put Haley in, because... Her flamethrower is so strong, and it'll take him out. Psychic. I use psychic. <sighs> okay. <sighs> We're going for Haley. Because I need Badger still to beat Koga. Oh no. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. Whew, that didn't do nearly as much damage to her. Okay. Don't kill her, please don't crit. Oh my fucking god. This is what I was scared of, you guys. This is what I was scared of. Politician. Will it survive the psychic? Okay. I'm trusting you, Koneko. We're gonna bite it. Please don't kill Politician. I still need Politician. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, it survived. It survived. 
Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We've got this. We've got this. Oh, bitch! Oh, you bitch! Oh, I hate you! Your special defense is lower? Yeah. <laughs> Koneko, I can tell, like, what part you're seeing. I can tell what part you're seeing. Um, from each thing. And now she calm mind. Oh, mother fucker bitch. You definitely need to swap after this turn. Okay. Who do I swap to, though? I guess I swap to Badger. But I, like, I need Badger. Yeah. <laughs> Delay's funny. I guess I swap to Badger, because he's going to take the least damage from Psychic. This is what I was scared of, you guys. This is what I was scared of. But at least she already used her potion. Yeah, not very effective. Okay. Um. Do I use Headbutt or Poison Gas? Yeah, Bite doesn't do that much, unfortunately. Oh, Badger then back. Okay, well, let's Hyper Potion up then Liama. Can you disable Psychic? I can try. Oh, and he keeps Calm Minding. Oh my fucking god. Calm Mind was disabled. That's not what I wanted. Um, but while we're doing that, let's Hyper Potion Haley too. Because Haley survived the Psychics better. Hmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch to Liyama. Please don't kill it. I'm gonna- f it fucking killed it. I knew that was gonna happen! But Liyama was the one to sacrifice. Okay. Um... Okay. Come on, Haley. Yeah, freaking calm mind. Mind. Fuck calm mind. Oh my god, and now, like, flamethrower is doing nothing. I'm dead, you guys. I'm dead. This is the end of the run. This is the end of the run. I don't like smart AI either. Smart AI is dumb. <sighs> We're gonna wipe. We're gonna wipe. This is the end of the run, you guys. I'm so sorry. I did not beat a Nuzlocke. I got to Sabrina and then died. Mmm. Yep. Oh! Wow. <laughs> I can't believe Gyarados survived that. Oh, but it doesn't do fucking anything. Because of all the shit that he's done. Okay. Yep. This is the end of the run. I don't see how I can win this. Yeah. Super effective and ain't, ain't doing shit. Is there even- is there any point? I mean, I guess I could heal. Heal up Badger. Did he run out of psychics? Oh, wait! Did he run out of psychics? Oh. Well, he killed Politician anyway. Amazing. Did he run out of psychics, though? Okay, here we go. Go, Mr. Jane. How 
does she have another hyper potion? I thought they only had one hyper potion. It, maybe it did use 10. It might have used 10. It might be out of psychics. How much does cut do? Oh, not bad. Fuck future sight. Man. And now Mr. Jane's gone too. Alright, come on, Badger. Are we I don't know. It does not feel it does not feel like we are. It does not feel like we are. It took almost my whole fucking team, but, like, we did it, and Badger survived. We did it, and Badger survived. You guys. My heart is pounding. It's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <sighs> I can't believe. I cannot believe. I really thought she fucking had us. I really thought she had us. Okay, the Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey. You stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much to avoid that problem. Wait, please take this TM with you. Okay. Yeah, we lost some really good friends. We lost some really good friends, you guys. Everyone has psychic powers, they just don't realize it. Well, I, I, I psychically knew that that battle was going to be hard as fuck, and guess what? I was right. Can I escape rope out of here? Can I escape rope out of here? There's too many sad memories here now. I'm, I'm scarred. I'm scarred. I've got PTSD from this gym. Uh, escape. Can I use that? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. My god. That was chaotic. That was chaotic. I feel like- I feel like we had it so easy up until this point and like all the difficulty was just crammed into one tiny psychic girl. Uh, okay. Bill's PC. Yes. Okay, who all did we lose? We lost Liama. We lost Politician. Didn't we? Did we lose Politician? Hang on. I know we lost Haley. I think the only ones we didn't lose was Badger. Yeah, we did. Okay. We didn't lose Badger and we didn't lose Holly because we didn't bring out Holly. But we lost everybody else. All right. Bye, Mr. Jane. I guess your Pokemon counterpart will never get um, a Galactic Legend Luke. Sorry. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. What do we want to do? We definitely want Lapras on our team. No question. Okay, so we've got Holly, we've got Badger, we've got Lapras. Who else do we want? Who else do we want, you guys? <sighs> I think the dog wants in while we think about this. Come on, you want back in? Come on, girl. We missed all the action. We lost almost our whole team, but we pulled through. Okay. Let's see. So I knew I wanted Lapras for that. Why don't we use, let's use Snorlax. Why not? I've not used Snorlax really before on a team. Who else? Mm. What, what moves does my Gengar have? What? Oh, three. That's why I don't like you like just running around everywhere. She knocked over my blue backlight, and I'm not gonna reset it back up. So, because <laughs> it's almost the end of the stream, so we're just gonna we're just gonna deal. All right, what moves does Gengar have? He has a bunch of ghost moves. That could be okay. Could be fun. Okay, so we've got a fighting type, a psychic type, a water ice type, a normal type, a ghost poison type. 
I guess we could put... I guess we could put Pidgeot actually in the party. What do you guys think? Koneko, you have the expert Pokemon opinion. What do you think? Are we making good choices or do are there better choices in the box? Oh, I forgot to turn on my badge for Sabrina. There we go. We got it. Or was it? No, that's the full badge. Okay. Pidgeot could work? I think so. Okay. <sighs> um, my Snorlax. As body slam, yawn, rest, and snore. Body slam's pretty good, I think. I don't know. Uh, no. All right. Snorlax is good. Okay. <sighs> All right. Here's what we're going to do. In between streams, I'm going to get my the rest of this new party up to 42. And then we're going to go take on Koga. And finish and do the safari zone. And then our level cap will be 47 when we go through after we do Koga. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this to end out the stream because I want to do something fun. Um, let's get Butterfree. Ground is good against poison. Yeah, I mean, I could. Who would you... I guess kind of like Gengar's kind of useless for the next gym. I could always use like Sand Slash and then put Sand Slash away after Koga. Or, or what about... um? Or what about Doug Trio? Which would be better? Let's see what moves. Summary. Delilah, because that's Haley's daughter. Oh, yeah, that is cute. Okay, so he's got Rock Tomb, Poison Sting, and Sand Attack, and Slash. And then what has he got? Doug Trio has Sand Tomb, Magnitude, Dig, and Slash. We could put in Doug Trio. We could put in Karen Jr. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I understood what you were saying. So yeah, Doug Trio. You'll see I picked that when it catches up. <laughs> the little 30 second delay is like just enough so that the typing is just off, you know? All right. Let's go fly. Get on our back. Bicycle, bicycle. I'm gonna go try to catch a ditto or something if we if we have time. We have, yeah, we can make it there. Oh, but I have to cut to get to that grass, so we're not going to bother with that grass. So I don't think any of these, can any of these guys cut? Let's see.
Oh, I can teach cut. Dugtree has got a lot of duplicate moves, so it's got a lot of different ground moves. So there's probably one that we do not need. Let's see. We've got Sand Tomb, which is 5 turns, 1570. We've got Magnitude. We've got Dig. And we've got Slash. We could do... We could definitely do... Do we really need Sand Tomb? I think Magnitude and Dig are good. I don't think we really need Sand Tomb. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we need that. Yeah, Dig is very good. I don't want to get rid of Dig. But I think I'm going to replace Sand Tomb with Cut. So we can have that. Slash is, Slash is a pretty good normal move. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go catch some Pokemons. Well, let's get off this bike. <laughs> I feel like it's holding us up. Because I keep running into things. Yes, I want to walk. Thank you. Let's get a Pokemon. Venonat. All right, go to sleep, Venonat. We're gonna do something cute like Delilah, because that's Haley's daughter. Or we've got lunch, or we've got Dr. Lumps. Um, Venonat goes to Venomoth, and I don't know, I think its big eyes are kind of cute. Let's do Delilah. And hopefully we won't kill Venonat, because I don't plan on using Venonat. <laughs> Delilah, am I spelling that right? Yes, I spelled that like you spelled it. Okay. Alright, do we make it far enough before that I can go get a ditto from the other grass patch? We might not have gone far enough with battling trainers for that. Oh, I went the wrong way. Wrong way! Delilah in the RP will be born on June 1st. What? Oh, that's a good birthday. It's a really good birthday. Let's see. Oh, no, I can't get past that trainer. Oh, well. Well, we'll catch the next one next time, I think. Let me just make sure if we fly on the Pidgey to Fuchsia City. Fly on the Pidgey. Let him carry me. Is there a grass patch I can get to here without fighting any trainers? I am unsure. What you got to say? Are you the kid who's working on the Pokedex? Professor Oak's aid came by here. Oh yeah, there's probably another aid up there. Okay, I can, technically. Do you, do you walk another? Okay. We can do these two tiles. Come here, ditto. Another Venonat. We're gonna try to get um, Dr. Lumps and then we'll end stream. Come to me, Dr. Lumps. Ditto is probably a rare, so I don't know if we'll get him. <laughs> I say this and I'm like, unsure if this is gonna work out. We might run out of time. That's okay. We'll get him at the start of the next stream, if that's the case. Or the start of the next Pokemon stream. Let's 
So many Venonats. So many. Oh, sorry for that, guys. That was an accident. I was trying to see who's online so I know who I'm gonna go raid. Oh my gosh, a lot of our friends are online. We have a smorgasbord of choices, you guys. What kind of thing are you guys in the mood for? Because I literally have, like, so many possibilities. <clears throat> Yeah, maybe just rot walking in these two little spots of grass is not the best plan for finding the ditto. <laughs> but we're trying. Okay, we're trying. We're gonna try one more time. And if we don't find them, we're just gonna save. Yeah. Ditto's kind of rare. All right. Let's save. There we go. All right. Okay, guys. So next time, what we are going to do on artistic license is actually take our little break from the Nuzlocke. I thought maybe this would be the last Nuzlocke stream. Thankfully it wasn't. We are gonna resume again, but next week what we're actually gonna do is go back to Final Fantasy X. We've taken a very long break from Final Fantasy X. We're gonna go back and do some more monster capturing, um, you know, and and because we didn't finish all of the side quests, right? So we're gonna go back and do some more monster capturing in Final Fantasy X, that's the plan. And then on Saturday for Interstage Window, what we are going to do is, um, let's see. For Interstage Window, we are going to be doing our community day and we're gonna be playing Stardew Valley. Valley. So if you're interested in playing Stardew Valley with us, get in my Discord, make sure you have the farmer role. That's gonna have everything that you need in regards to playing our community day games with us. That The farmer role is for um, Don't Starve Together and for Stardew Valley. So we're gonna be doing Stardew Valley this coming up. Okay, here we go. We are going to raid, well, I had thought of a certain person we're going to raid, but I don't, there's no cam, and I want to raid into a, a good, a good, pretty, beautiful stream. So, let's see. Well, this person says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Here we go. This is fine. Okay, let's read in, raid into um, Double Bubs. This has been a really long time since we've raided them. And they're doing a blind playthrough of If Found. And they say, Happy St. Patrick's Day. So I think this is good. There we go. Yeah, Lunar, you are the reason why I found them. You asked us to raid them one time, and I really like their stream. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you on Saturday or next Thursday, whichever. Um, here's all my socials. Please follow me. Please support me. Um, I do things just like every other content creator does, so you know how that works. And thank you so much, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.